Yes, go to work. You that are here this afternoon in the book of information. Amen. The word of God is the book of information. Oh, yes. Deeper than what men information can give. And the wisdom of Brother Solomon. Amen. Mm -hmm. Solomon, son of David, grandson of Jesse, come out the tribe of Judah. God appeared to Solomon. Solomon in his day, there wasn't a man like him. That's right. Being that it wasn't a man like him, well, he had a reputation for wisdom. Queen Sheba even came to check him out. Yeah. And after her investigation, her evaluation concluded, well, well, the half has not been told. But as we taught last night, Solomon had a wobble. Yes. That's right. In his will. Regardless of his wisdom, seven hundred wives, three hundred concubines, that is not including the maids and handmaids that was born in his house. Solomon, the book says, loved outlandish women. Right. Yes. He loved evil women. Oh, yes. He loved women that were idolatrous. Yes. That's right. The very idols that he tore down, yes. the women that he loved built up. Built up. They turned Solomon's heart. Yeah. Yes. See, when your heart changed, uh-huh. you're gone. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. When your heart changed, they turned Solomon's heart not toward God, but against God. And when your heart turned against God, you are no longer emotionally connected. That's it. To him that is called love. That's right. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. Now, if I'm no longer connected to the one that is called love, then the love of God that I had evaporates. Yeah. As m- more as my heart turned away from him, Amen. then my love that I have for him and the things that pertain to him leaves. That's right. That's right. Forget Solomon. Amen. Mm. Give me the book of Mark. Mm-hmm. Chapter 4. Mm-hmm. Begin at verse 10. Verse 10. Amen. We want to talk about the heart today. Amen. And the danger <laughs> that it consists of. Oh, yes. The book of scripture teaches us out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth, Speaking, the book of scripture teaches us also of the things that come out of the heart that defile a man. The heart is where the emotions lie. What triggers the heart? First information that is heard from the ear and then the mind begin to think about or consider what the ears have heard. Then the heart become emotionally involved from what the ears have heard and what the mind begin to think. Then the body become active from what the ears have heard. The mind think and what the heart feel. That's right. Where is your heart with God? Who has your heart? What have your heart? Do anyone possess your heart more than God? Does anything possess your heart? more 
than God. Is it anything or anyone you love more than God? Is it anyone you are more close to more than God? Is it anyone you're more committed to more than God? We're going to judge ourselves today. Yes. Listen at the book of scripture. Follow me. In Mark chapter 4, begin reading at verse 10. Listen. And when he was done, they that were about him with the twelve asked him of the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But unto them that are without, all things are done in parables. Yeah. That seeing they may see and not perceive. That's right. And hearing they may hear and not understand. Mm -hmm. Lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. All right. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? Do you know this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? What is it? The sower soweth the word. Now, one who sows seed practice husbandry. That's right. A planter. Mm -hmm. The preacher is a planter of knowledge. That's right. Yes. The human family yes. is the earth. Yes. Fertilized ground. Yes. That's right. The driving force behind the preacher is the spirit or the presence of the most high God. That's right. That's right. That's right. The same time the word of God is being planted. There is a evil force yes, it is. among us all. That's true. To take it as quick as it comes. That's true. There is no plant that can grow, spring up from the earth unless the seed is quickened. That's right. The seed is not quickened except it, it dies. Ah, that's right. Then it must go through the atmospheric change. When it's quickened, you see the dead resurrect. That's right. Then the tender plant is coming out of the earth. Wonderful. When the word of God is preached, mm -hmm. your heart must be ready to grasp yeah. God's word. That's right. If your heart, in order for your heart to be ready, Emotionally, you must yeah. be connected yeah. right. to the information that's right. that God gives. That's right. Yeah. That's the time when you come to the house. Listen, the book says this. When you come to the house of God, keep your foot. In other words, God is demanding certain behavior when you come to his house. That's right. When you come to the house of God, keep your foot. Keep thy foot. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. One scripture says, take heed how you hear. That's right. So when you come to church, when you come to the house of God, you must be in full listening mode. That's right. You got to go beyond hearing. That's right. You got to listen. Listen. That's right. See, I can hear, right. but not listen. That's right. It's just like I can read, but not study. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Do you see the difference? That's right. See, if I read, but I'm not really studying or into what I'm reading, I might get none out of it. No. But if I'm hearing, yeah. but not really listening, then I cannot differentiate the sound that I hear. That's right. The apostle teaches us mm -hmm. even things without life. Mm -hmm. Giving sound. Giving sound. That's right. Whether it be pipe or hot. Mm -hmm. There's a distinction. There's a separation. There's a difference right. in the sound. In the sound. That's right. If I take my hand mm -hmm. and slap you. <laughs> It will, you will give off a sound. Right. But if I take these digits and pull them together, mm -hmm. I guarantee a different sound going to come out. That's right. There's a matter of change of position. That's right. You have to change the position of your heart. Amen. 
in order to absorb the sound or the things of God. So when I come to church and if the God of heaven advised me, keep my foot, That's that right. means everything else Go ahead, has to be removed. That's right. Amen. In order for God, look at the request. Lord, create in me. That's right. A clean heart. Renew in me a right spirit. A right spirit. Which shows us there is a wrong spirit that is in us. And the wrong spirit causes us to manifest the wrong behavior. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The heart. That thing that causes many people to murder yeah do wrong it have broken up homes yeah. yes. Yes. it have ignited jealousy and rage oh yes sir. it have caused many to make bad and ignorant decisions amen. that's right amen oh yeah take side we're wrong whenever the heart get involved yeah with God. Mm -hmm. It is written that the king's heart yeah. is in the hand of the Lord. So yeah. when your heart get involved with God, yeah. God declares ownership. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He wants the total man yeah. and the total woman. Yeah. It is so thrown around today. I love you. Yeah. Folks say that more over, don't they? Yeah. I, 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 I love you. When sometimes a fella tell us a woman, baby, I love you. Oh you 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 touch my heart. Well wait, 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 wait. Before your heart is touched, yes. be sure he even understand the meaning of love. That's right. Anybody can throw it out. That's right. But can you define it? Yes. A person can't produce what they don't understand. That's right. So why would you look for a person to produce what they don't have knowledge of? Amen. How can a preacher Preach it. produce truth yeah. that he don't have? That's right. That's right. That's right. You gotta have it. Can't do it. God is love. Yeah. That's right. But God love is not like ours. No, no. His love is unconditional. I had no tickets on working on this, but it's good. God love is not like baby, I love you. God ain't coming whispering sweet nothings in your ear. No, no. God love is forsaking everything. Everything. Putting him before and above yeah. all things. Oh yes. Oh yeah. He said, "If hey. you don't love me, hey. you can't be my disciple." Hey. God's love, or to love God, brings about self denial that's right and the surrender of will that's right. which bring about the contradiction or the struggle of self Amen. are you listening oh yes listen Amen. back in mark 4 and verse 14 what is it the sower soweth the word the sower this is what we're doing today sowing planting planting Amen. Yeah. Planting seed. That's right. I hope your body is ready to accept it. Yeah. There is no spiritual growth where the word have not been sown. That's right. Let me say it again. That's right. You cannot grow spiritually where the word is not being preached. You just can't. No. 
It doesn't matter if you go to a church and somebody's up on a stage hooping and hollering and break dancing. The question is, is he preaching the word? If the word is not being preached because you're shouting and falling out and running around, that don't mean nothing. Knowledge is power. That's right. And if God is not being preached, then there is no fertilization That's right. of the heart. That's right. And if there is no fertilization of the heart, God can grow in you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. So this is why many today mm-hmm. is spiritually immature. Yeah. Many cannot handle little small matters without falling apart. That's right. Someone don't speak to you. You lay out of church six months. Yeah. Someone don't. This is why we are concerned about trivial foolishness. He got a suit like mine. She got shoes like mine. Amen. Got a hat like mine. A pocketbook like mine. Where we church have become a fashion show. Until we're more worried about fashion than we are God. That's right. That's right. Come on, preacher. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? And I, brethren, listen in First Corinthians chapter three, beginning at verse one. Paul said, "And I, brethren, could not speak unto you, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, but as unto carnal, even yes. as unto babes in Christ." You see, when your heart is not connected with God, your priorities are screwed up. That's right. That's right. Your priorities are wrong. When your heart is not connected with God, you're overzealous. That's right. Amen. You don't take your time. Go ahead. You're quick Go ahead. to quote scripture, Amen. but you're not quick to obey them. That's right. That's it. On the milk You are quick to look at others. That's right. More than you are to look at yourself. That's right. You are quick to put somebody else in hell. Yes. But ignore the fact you're on your way to the same place. That's right. That's right. First establish Go ahead, man. your own relationship with God. Go ahead. And leave everybody else's alone. That's establish right. your, own. your own. That's right. How close is your heart That's right. to God? Right. Is God first in your life? Now hold it. Let me explain that. Mm-hmm. Because if I got to go to work mm-hmm. on Tuesday night, which is a church night, yes. that don't mean God is not first. That's right. Come on here. That's good teaching. Church night is Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I got to be at work Tuesday. Yeah. So because you are at church and I got to work, yeah. you don't have the right to come to me and say, well, look, if God was first, you will walk off the job. No. no. See, if God is first, that simply means I obey him yeah. right. first above all things. That's right. And God said, if you don't work, you don't eat. You don't eat. You don't eat. So even though church is going on mm-hmm. and I'm at the job, right. I'm still obeying God. That's right. Bring it, bro. Good teaching. Good teaching. Amen. Let's bring balance. Very good teaching. And that way, many of us can get off our self appointed judgment seat. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Because you don't miss a night of church, don't mean you're there. That's true. That's true. Amen. When you're there, your whole heart yeah. have to be there amen. amen give me the fifth chapter of ecclesiastes, ecclesiastes. Yeah, that's right solomon teaches us right. keep thy foot keep all right 
Keep. Keep thy foot. Listen at this. In Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. Everybody all right? Amen. What is it? Keep thy foot. Keep thine foot. When thou goest to the house of God. And what should the most important role we should play? And be more ready to hear. What is that word? More ready to hear. That may more than anything else you do. Right. Whether it's testifying, singing a song. Right. Be more ready to hear. That don't mean be ready to be newsy. That's right. About somebody else's personal business. That's right. That's right. Be more ready to hear what the Spirit say right. to the church. To the church. The most important part of church is the message. That's right. If the message is wrong, all church is wrong. That's right. That's right. If your teaching is wrong, your church is wrong. It's wrong. Amen. So if the book says be more ready to hear when I come to church and it's come time for the word I should be more attentive more ready than any part of service that's right that went on that's right more than any part yeah. I ain't got time to think about how good that brother look over there good, good ain't got time to think about how good that sister look over there right. ain't got time to think about my wife that's right. ain't got time to think about my husband that's right. ain't got time to think about how long service gonna be before I get on the road yeah. ain't got time I think I got I got time to change my clothes right. before I go back home Wonderful. stop all of it be more ready to hear who say you gonna make it back home? Preach it. God can cut you off before you leave here. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the advice be, of the Lord? Be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear. Mm -hmm. If I'm more ready to hear, then I'll be more ready yeah. to obey. Yeah. That's right. That's See, when I be more ready to hear, I have to be in obedience mode. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Keep thy foot. Keep it. Keep thy foot. Keep it. Yeah. Don't do so much moving around. That's good teaching. If there ain't no moving that's needed, stay where you are. Stay where you are. Good no need to fix what ain't broken. That's right. That's right. That's right. Keep your foot. Keep thy foot. Train the children yes. how to sit down yeah. and not run to the bathroom all the time. Go ahead, brother. Hey, we're gonna preach. Preach it. We're gonna preach Go ahead. The Bible says what? Keep thy foot. Teach them how to sit down. Amen. Train them yes. up a child hey. and the way it should go. Hey. Will not. Good right. teaching, brother. Do what? Keep thy foot. It should not be no text Mexican in church Go when ahead. the word is going on. Go ahead. That's right. Am I right? That's right. The word says, Keep thy foot. It's blatant disrespect Go ahead, brother, man. to God. Go ahead. Why am I in church? Go ahead. Or in the bathroom? Yes. Texting. That's right. Who's that important? That's right. Who's more important than God? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. The word says, Keep Amen. thy foot. Do what? Keep yeah. thy foot. If I'm sitting next to you in church and the word is being taught, don't have a conversation with me. That's right. Leave me alone. That's right. There's a time That's right. for everything. That's right. The word says, Keep thy foot. Keep your foot. Keep thy foot. You got to be observant. Oh, yes. Jesus taught. His messengers teaching them to observe all things. What a command you preach it, brother. You preach it. Preach it, brother. He said, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Preach it. Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. Train the children to sit down. That's right. Train them not to move around every time. That's right. Preach it, brother. And you start that training at home. Yeah. When I came up, my mother and father put me at a chair and made me sit there for several hours. Amen.
Amen. I wasn't on punishment. Yeah. They was teaching me how to be still. It's good teaching. Keep thy foot. Not jam packed in a bathroom. That's right. Just having a conversation. That's right. Like God don't exist. Amen. How Amen. cheap did God become in your life? Come on. My Lord. Where you got time to sit in church? Come on. Text messaging? Text messaging. The house of God should be so respected. It shouldn't be a reason for an usher to tell anybody, you know, you need to be quiet. That's right. That's right. That's right. No. No. Church today ain't like it was years ago. No. This modern piece of trash that you call church ain't church. No. Let us remember, wish up must be honored by God. That's right. If it's not honored by God, then what you do don't mean nothing to him. Go ahead, brother. I'm not saying if someone got a condition, don't attend to them. That's right. I'm not saying if a person is ill and got to go out. I'm not saying that. No. I'm talking about just unruly movement that need not to be. Not to be. That's Even right. security. That's right. If it ain't nothing wrong with the chair, stay in it. That's right. So you don't pace the floor and distract nobody else. Go ahead. If you walk in the back where folks can't see you, fine. But up here, don't move. Don't budge. Now why God talk? Your movement ain't worth a dime when God talk. God said, keep thy foot. What did God say? Keep thy foot. Sit down. Keep thy foot. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Sit down. That's right. That's right. God's house go ahead. have to go back go ahead. to the way it was yeah. when the apostles was here. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Take God. Go ahead. God's house go ahead. has to go back yes. to the way it was oh, yeah. when the apostles was here. That's right. We ain't going to modernize nothing. We walk by the same rule. We mind same the thing. same thing. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Nothing new. Nothing new. Keep thy foot. God says. Keep thy foot. Move. If you want to live, what did God say? Keep thy foot. When you do what? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. If you in class and take an exam, movement to strike others, who's taking that exam? That's right. Do you know when you're being taught the words of God, you are being examined? That's right. For the apostle teaches us, examine yourself. To do what? See. Are you in the faith? That's it. See, are you in the church? That's right. See, are you connected to God? That's right. Amen. Keep thy foot. Keep thy foot. And every temple, make the children sit down. Amen. In every temple. Amen. Make the children stop all this bathroom running. That's right. That goes for the adults also. That's right. When it comes time for the word, there shouldn't be somebody in another part of the church having some rehearsal. While the word is being preached, Amen. your song is not important than God's word. That's right. In order to sing a new song, Go ahead. you need a new spirit. That's right. That's good teaching, brother. Everything is on hold That's right. when God talks. Right. Hallelujah. That's right. Everything. The Lord. Everything is stopped, stuck, shut down That's right. when God talks. 
The Lord is in his holy temple. And I don't even have the Holy Ghost. That's right. I can't afford Lord not to get that word in me. That's right. Everything stands still. That's right. And see the salvation of God. Of the Lord. That's true. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God says? Keep thy foot. Keep it. Keep thy foot. Go ahead, preach. When what? When thou goest to the house of God. And what should we do? Be more ready more. to hear. If I'm in tune to the word. And I'm one that's turned for the Holy Ghost. More ready. Right while the word of God is preached. It can come down upon me. That's right. And fill me with the Holy Ghost. That's right. But I rob myself. If I'm running all over the place. And I need the Holy Ghost. I'm sitting in the bathroom. I'm text messaging. Get your life in order. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, preacher. Get your priorities in order. That's right. When God's first, you ain't worrying about some girl's phone number. Go ahead, brother. You ain't worrying about how to get out of church quick. Go ahead. To uh, talk to some fine woman. Go ahead, brother. No, no. Or to talk to some good looking man. Keep thy foot. Your heart is in order. That's it. That's it. When the word is being preached. Go ahead, man. There should not be no other meetings right, yeah. in church. Right. Security should not be meeting downstairs Amen. while the word is being preached upstairs. Amen. In order for security to be secured, they got to have the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, Go ahead man. Go ahead. If working in any auxiliary Go ahead. distract you from God, Go ahead. get off. Amen. Get off. Amen. Bow down Amen. and tear it for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Go to God. Tear it. That's it. College is good. Yeah. College without God ain't nothing. nothing. Amen. Your degrees, your career is good. Yeah, that's right. But if you don't do it with God, you ain't doing nothing. That's right. That's right. You that are here that's right. and you that are listening, oh, the center of life yeah. is God. Oh yeah. Yo, someone say, well, Pastor Dennis, my man is everything. Come on yes. here. Now, you lost. Come on here. Oh, yeah. My woman oh, yeah. is everything. You're lost. lost. Yeah, Only one that can be everything yeah. is God. That's right. Almighty. Go ahead, man. You got to be so in tune with God. That if your husband backslide, you gonna stay with God. That's right. He can try to taunt you with this cheap anatomy all he wants. But when you're connected to God, it's not a hard choice. That's right. Between anatomy and God. Amen. Go ahead. This is old-fashioned holiness. Keep thy foot. Do you hear God talking? Keep thy foot. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. And what shall we do? Be more ready to hear. There should not be an auxiliary meeting no time. Yeah. While the word is preached. That's right. It ain't no such thing. Well, our meeting was first. The moment the word is preached, your meeting stopped. It stopped. We ain't finished. Finish later. That's right. There's no choir rehearsal. No. There's no meeting. No. There's no mothers talking. Amen. Everything. Amen. Come to church. That's right. To hear That's right. what God said. God said. Amen. Amen. Why? Because God got a special order. Oh, yeah. He said what? Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And what is the most important thing? Be more ready to hear. Then to do what? Then to give the sacrifice of fools. Why? What is it they're not considering? For they consider not that they do evil. Amen. They're not considering that you're sinning. That's right. 
right. That's right. Yeah. Consider not that they do. You're evil. not considering. That's yeah. Right. It doesn't matter if they work in a church office. Yeah. That's right. When the word is being preached, That's right. get out of there. That's right. Amen. If you're not finished a letter, shut it down. Get out. That's right. That's right. Get out of there. That's right. Come where the word is preached. Amen. Because God said, let all things be done decently and in order. That's right. Because the Lord is letting us know we're not taking things on a consideration. Yes. And he said what? They consider not that they do evil. You don't consider the word of God. Now in our eyes, we're doing right. Right. Own eyes. But in God's eyes, they do evil. We do evil. Amen. Are you listening? It's good teaching. If there's an emergency and you got to move, that's different. That's different. We ain't talking yeah, about that. Right. No. That's right. Unnecessary movement. No. If there's an emergency that pulls me out the pulpit, I got to go. That's true. And then I'll let somebody else come in my stand that's right. and pick up where I left off. That's right. That's right. If I'm preaching Jesus mm -hmm. and the resurrection, and when somebody else, look, I got an emergency, I got to go. go. You come on up here. Don't you go talking about Daniel. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You come on. When, when I pass you the baton and you grab it, you pick up. Jesus died. Hung on the cross. From the sixth to the ninth hour. Right down. You stay right there. Stay right there. You don't stare and get in another lane. You pick right up what we bring to the Jews. You come along and bring it to the Gentiles. Stay on the same path. Same path. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. Keep thy feet. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead, take God. Amen. Keep. Keep thy foot. Thy foot. When thou goest to the house of God. Keep it. If you gotta leave early because you gotta go to work, we ain't talking about that. Mm. Nah. We're talking about unnecessary movement that simply don't have to be. That's right. You disturb order. Right. It's like when you baptize somebody. I often advise brothers when you're baptizing somebody, don't give them no, don't have no conversation. That's right. Don't go ask them about, uh, did you pray and all that stuff. No, because you don't interrupt them. Because when they in that water, they can be praying. Yeah. What in the Holy Ghost? And you go running off at their mouth, you can break their concentration. Just get them in water. Baptize them. Get them out. Don't ask them their name. Don't ask them how far did you drive. Don't ask them are you married. You don't get them in water to have a general conversation. You baptize them and get them out. You don't want to disturb their connection between them and God. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead. Keep thy foot. Amen. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. Mm. Mm. When you love a thing, it has your undivided attention. That's right. Wonderful. That's right. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. And then what? Be more ready to hear. More. Ready. More ready here. If I'm working in a church. And my functioning in an auxiliary, mm -hmm. I'm starting to use that as an excuse yeah. Yeah. to not hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> then that auxiliary work will become a witness against me. That's right. You cannot grow if there is no word in you. Yeah. You can't. can't. The word of God is called seed. seed. Yeah. If you're not having no seed planted in Amen. you, you cannot have the fruits of the spirit. That's right. You can't get an orange if it ain't no seed. No. You can't get no type of fruit if there's no seed. That's right. How can you have the fruits of the spirit if there is no seed planted in you? That's right. Get a word in you. Word got to be in you. Go ahead. The important, the most important part. Go ahead. Brother. Of church. Amen. 
It's the word. Amen. 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 When I came up, my parents gave me a sit down session. Amen. I watched them do my other family members like that. Amen. Sit down. We wasn't on punishment. Sit down. My father was so strict. If he saw me falling to sleep in church, glory, 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 glory. he was up glory. preaching we had the same day. many a day. Yeah. That man walked out the pulpit <laughs> while he preaching. I'm in the chair sleep. He came out the pulpit while he preaching and grabbed me by my ear and woke me back up. Amen. And then went right back to the Bible Amen. to pick up where he left off. Yeah. That's, That's old school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They hate that. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead, brother. Without the word of the Lord, Amen. you are lost. lost. Burning in your brains. That's right. Without the word, Without the word. you're lost. That's right. That mean coming to church ain't worth nothing. Oh, yeah. Do you hear the advice mm -hmm. of your Lord? Keep thy foot. Keep it. When thou goest to the house of God. Keep it. Keep thy foot. There should not be no auxiliary meeting going on and no church. No church. When the word of God is preached. That's right. Not even the preacher no. should be in the pulpit on a cell phone and text messaging. That's right. And he up there. Yeah. That's, right. That's, right. That's right. Out of order. That's right. Let all things That's right. be done decently yeah. and in order. That's right. Amen. That's right, brother. You don't be in a pulpit on a cell phone. Amen. Amen. You don't be in a pulpit. Text messaging, Amen. you walking around teaching and your phone on your hip go off. Amen. You stop while you teaching to check a text. My Lord. Get out the pulpit. That's right. How did the pulpit become so cheap? How did the pulpit become this trivial? Go ahead. When I'm in church, Go ahead, bro. turn the phone off. Amen. That's right. If an emergency come up, I got to make a call, I'm getting out of here. Go ahead. And going outside yeah. and take care of business, then come back. Then come yeah. back. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. right, bitch. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Keep thy foot. I'm going to sit in back of church mm. and take some love words to some girl. Oh. <laughs> And a brother gonna sit in church, mm. take some words back. My Lord. While the word is preached. My Lord. Is God that cheap? Amen. Is God that trivial? Work on it. Work on it. The world is guilty. That's right. That's right. God That's right. has been dwindled down yes. to nothing. Amen. And when God becomes nothing in your life, yeah. a, a person who tell you you ain't nothing, do not expect them to treat you with respect. Amen. That's right. Amen. They look at you like you nothing and don't mind telling you you ain't nothing. Yeah. Don't expect to be treated like something. something. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. That's right. I want all of you brothers that minister that are watching to get this. Go ahead, go ahead. You ain't got no business in the pulpit. Go ahead. With a cell phone on. No. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, I got work to do. If your work is more important than ministry, then have enough respect for ministry to fire yourself. Amen. That's right. Get out the pulpit. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. You are right. Have enough respect for the church. Yeah. Go on and take your phone calls, but get out the pulpit. Amen. Well, Pastor Jen, I got to take this call. It's a major job offer. If God wants you to have it, you will get it if you miss all the calls. That's right. Hallelujah. Talk to me, you will. Go ahead, brother. It is written. Go ahead. Go 61st. Ahead. That's right. The kingdom of God. That's right. And his righteousness. Oh, yeah. And he promised oh, yeah. that all 
things. You shouldn't be more anxious to leave church because you want to knock up some broad you living with. Go ahead. You're more anxious to leave church because you want to have sex with some girl that you living with that ain't your wife. Amen. Am I right? Go ahead, brother. Yes, you are right. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Can't argue with that. It's good teaching, brother. Church is nothing but a trivial stop. <laughs> so boyfriend and girlfriend come to church. I want to, let's go see this cat in person that we see on internet. Yeah. Let's go see that Gino Jenner's in person. Let's see, see, you know, the way in person like he is on television. Yeah. Or like we download him on the YouTuber. Come on here. Yeah. <laughs> So boyfriend and girlfriend come to church. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about seeing PJ in person. Come on, here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not your God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Look at the body. Coming to see me in person don't really mean nothing. No. It's the words, Look at the words. that is taught. Yes. That you have to gravitate to. Yes. Make it plain. Make right. it plain. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. Listen. Keep thy foot yes. when thou goest to the house of God. And what? And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice yeah. of fools. Be more ready to what? More ready to hear. Yeah. Mm. Walk out. Now, mm -hmm. if people had jobs yeah. and they supervisors say, listen, this job require no movement hey. for eight hours. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Eight hours, a hundred thousand dollars a year. <laughs> All we do is require you not to move. Just don't move. Eight hours a day. Amen. You know what you're going to do to make sure you master it? <laughs> you're going to practice at home. You're going to practice. The moment you hear a hundred thousand yeah. dollars, right. you're going to go home. Yes, yeah. you will. Practicing. Yeah. All kind of ways to yeah. just be still. Yeah. All kind of ways. That's right. Ways. That's right. Just practice. That's right. Why in your mind, a hundred thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. God says, mm -hmm. if you obey me, Amen. you'll have life, yes. eternal. Life yes. eternal. Yes. And we don't practice. Yes. Go ahead, preacher. The fear of the Lord wow. is the beginning of wisdom. Go ahead. Amen. To depart from evil. Go ahead. It's understanding. That's understanding. It's understanding. Go ahead, sir. Are you listening? Go ahead. Amen. I remember some years ago, before we had a telecast in Mobile, yeah. we was the radio broadcast, WMOB, if I'm not mistaken, that we're still yeah. on. I remember my first trip to Mobile, and the very first member was a brother yeah. named Brother Hubbard. Mm -hmm. Brother Hubbard. <laughs> He loved, and I used love because that's past tense. He's out there in the world now, and if he's listening, I hope he come back to God. That's right. But I remember when he first came, his wife was truly a product of Satan. And didn't mind letting everyone know she hated church and hated God. That's right. So the brother was sitting in the meeting house. He was renting a hotel ballroom. And she was on the outside of the window. Come on. Beating on the glass. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Telling him to come out. Mm -hmm. yeah. He looked and saw her and ignored her. Just kept looking at me preaching. She banged on that glass. That's right. He just kept looking at me preaching. So I kind of looked over there at the glass. But when I looked, she kicked the shoes off, picked them up, and came in the meeting yeah. while I was preaching. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And came and sat right next to her husband and pushed him. Boom. Oh. He went back and kept, couldn't take his eyes off me. <laughs> That's right. He kept watching. That's right. She pushed him. He went back. He kept looking at me preaching. Yeah. She threatened him. Yeah. He kept looking at me preaching. Right. 
And then she got up and walked out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said to me, I want to be saved. She don't. Yeah. So what's more important to me is my soul and not allow myself to give in to the violence right, yeah. that was betrayed upon me at that time. Right. See, one thing about the devil, he or she don't like to be ignored. Yeah. That's right. If there's somebody, whether it's husband or wife, yeah. who's trying to be a deliberate distraction yeah. by trying to cause havoc and problems yeah. in your life, put God first and don't let them have more power over you than God. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. See, because somebody quotes scripture, that don't mean they're godly. No. A person can quote scripture just to be antagonistic. That's right. The whole objective and motive in quoting scripture don't have to have God involved. That's right. Is that scripture? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Did not Satan come to Jesus mm -hmm. while he fasted? While he fasted. And what did he come with them with? Scripture. Scripture. He quoted scripture to try to get Jesus to kill himself. That's right. As it is written. He kept referring to what was written. What was written. He told him, if thou be the son of God, dash thine feet upon the rocks. For it is written that, you know, the angels there come bear thee up. Yes. Quoting scripture, but with a different motive. That's right. And a different intent. That's right. So you have people that quote scriptures, but their motive and the intent is not to benefit you, but to make them feel like they are superior to you That's and right. you are beneath them. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to yes, what I'm talking? Go ahead, brother. Yes, listen right there. Glory to God. Keep thy foot. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God, keep your foot. Mm -hmm. Every auxiliary mm -hmm. should come together yeah. not just to have meetings, no. yeah. but to have prayer. Prayer. Amen. Amen. All right, prayer. first. Amen. Yeah. I'm not talking about a little prayer that you hold hands. Oh. That's right. And just get in a circle. That's right. Father, lay me down to sleep. I pray my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray that God should my soul to take. God bless yeah. my bless. No. no. I'm talking about that auxiliary that get on your knees. Amen. Wherever you are. Yeah. And go back to old fashioned yeah. prayer. That's right. Get on your knees and open your mouth. Amen. And cry out to God like you need something. Yeah. That's right. Now if you can come together to eat chicken and potato salad and candy yams and stream beans, you should be able to come together and pull on heaven. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh, this is what the Holy Ghost brought today, yeah. and it's good. Oh, yes. Yes! Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When I was coming up, I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue yeah. when I was 11. Amen. Yeah, come on. And at 11 years old, 12, 13, those that was in that age group when I was coming up, we would come together when there wasn't no church going on. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Go down to the church and have prayer. We didn't put a time on it. Amen. We didn't care about time. We was 11, 12, 13, 14. We got there at the front that you called the altar. Amen. Crying out to God. Yeah. Yeah. Good heart, good heart. Why? We wanted something. That's right. That's all right. When you're seeking the Holy Ghost, yeah. you ain't got to wait on no Tuesday night. Oh, 
You ain't got to have no security in the building to have service. Go ahead, brother. Service go on if security die. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God. That's true. Yeah. God Almighty. When you want God, hmm. you come together. Yeah. That's right. One mind. One mind. One heart. Yeah. We were 11, 12, 13, 14. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. Why? We wanted it. Yeah. He that hunger and thirst at the righteousness shall be filled. That's right. You have to want it. That's right. Not coming church and his brother sitting here having a conversation with his wife. He That's can't right. even listen to the word. His wife keep nudging him, running off at the mouth. Yeah. Can't you control your woman? <laughs> Tell her, look, it's time for you to be quiet. Right. Right. The word is being preached. That's right. Then she's going to tell you, don't tell me to shut up. Yes. I said what I want. Well, if you got that attitude, why are you in church? Why you in there? Amen. And if you take it, where's your spine? That's right. Amen. That's right. When the Lord is in the holy temple, let the earth, let keep the silent. earth be silent. Keep silence. The book said the Lord is in his holy temple. In the book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 20. Give chapter and verse again. In the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 20. Says what? But the Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. Is in his holy place. Let all the earth. How much? All the earth. What your wife got to say, what your husband got to say, wait. Amen. It's not an emergency. Wait. That's right. Let all the earth what? Keep silence before him. Who are you before? Before him. Before him. Yeah. All. All the earth. Before who? Before him. Yeah. Amen. If there's any kind of rehearsal, mm. but the word of God is about to be taught, mm -hmm. keep silence. No, just turn the volume down. Keep no. silence. No, just still do it, but low key. Keep silence. Amen. Everything stop and shut down. That's right. Everything. That's right. Everything. 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 Not standing outside just talking, run off at the mouth. That's right. Get off the church ground and come in and pray. That's right. Amen. This is all about God. Amen. You don't even have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Amen. And you're that casual. Go ahead, man. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. In order to function right for God, mm. you got to have his spirit. Yes. That's right. That's right. Don't just repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and stop there. Amen. That's right. I'm in God's house and fall on your knees. That's right. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Brother, you gonna be on duty tonight? No, I got, I'm going. I'm going to my knees after the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's right. Oh well, if you gonna tarry, then you off the team. Oh no, I ain't. I'm gonna get on my knees and tarry for the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Good teaching, brother. Holy Ghost Amen. is first Amen. priority. Amen. If I got the Holy Ghost and I'm not married, there's no need for me to get interested in a woman that don't have it and she's a sinner. That's right. That's right. If you's a sister and you have the Holy Ghost right. and you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, right. why are you declaring you engaged to a man who don't have the Holy Ghost? That's right. Good teaching, brother. The Lord said, don't. Go ahead. Be unequally yoked. Unequally yoked together. The moment you choose to do it your way, you have ignored God. That's right. Well, she's beautiful. God said. That's right. Don't be unequally yoked. That's right. With the unbeliever. For what fellowship? What involvement? Hath righteousness with unrighteousness. How can you be so close? Right. To that sinner. That's right. That's true. Pastor Jenny, you got to see him. No, I don't. Pastor Jenny, you got to see him. For what? For what? All flesh is grass. Amen. 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 
What I got to see is the law. That's right. Of the spirit of life. That's right. That is in Christ Jesus. Amen. That has made me free, free from the law of sin and death. That's right. That's what I got to see first. Amen. That's why we tell the young people, go, go after God first. Yeah. Don't worry about no boyfriend. Yeah. Don't worry about no girlfriend. That's right. God first. That's right. That way you don't be a single woman carrying a bunch of babies. Yeah. That's right. And you don't be an unmarried man Amen. who refuses to take care of those babies and add to the amount of bums go ahead. that is in America. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. Am I right? Yes. Go ahead, brother. Yes. Go ahead, man. Yes. Go ahead. The holy book says what? Keep Amen. thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Go and back to the book of Corinthians. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Listen at this. And at verse 14. What is it? Be ye not unequally yoked it, together. It ain't no need for one that's baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus to have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. Mm -hmm. trying to get engaged or trying to propose marriage, marriage to one that's not. That's not. One is in the body. The other is not in the body. That's right. Why do you have a joint account? Come on. Amen. Why is his name on your checks? Come Go on. ahead. Why is he driving around in your car? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Do you hear be, what God said? Be ye not. Don't you know you got to have God in your decision making? That's right. That's right. Stop thinking from between your legs. Yeah. There is no brains down there. Yeah. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Amen. Let me say it again. Go ahead. Stop thinking from between your legs. Amen. There are no brains down there. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Amen. Telling the truth. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Break off the say, you going to air this? Oh, yes. That's right. I'm talking to the world. That's right. That's right. The word of God. Go ahead, man. The whole world need it. The whole world yeah. Pastor Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. Didn't he say so? That's right. And that's what the apostle does. God charges him to set all things in order. In order. He don't send him out to make friends no. because he know he ain't going to have many. No. So he don't go out looking for them. That's right. I don't go out looking for a friend nowhere in the world. Nowhere. I go to preach the word. That's it. Whoever don't like it, I don't care. And whoever love it, I'm fine with that. That's right. As long as I'm on good terms with God, I don't care what the world think of me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I'm an independent preacher. The holy book says what? Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Be ye not. Now, somebody wrote me, and let me answer you, that wrote me. Yes. You asked me that if you're baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, and the brother's baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, can you marry? Yes. yes. If you both don't have the Holy Ghost, but yet you both are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, you can marry. Yes. But if one is baptized and have the Holy Ghost, they are in the body of Christ, because Paul said you're baptized by one spirit in, in to one body. Right. And if the other is still seeking the Holy Ghost, and involved with you, you in their way. That's right. You're in that way. That's right. Good teaching. According to the scripture. Here's one not in the body with his tongue down the throat of one that is in the body. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Unequally. Unequally. How in the world you gonna be hugging them and kiss them? They gonna tell them, I'm gonna help you pray to get me off your mind. You talk and think like a fool. That's right. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. That is not holy. I know from experience. Yeah. I know from experience. Amen. And my wife, God bless her nice heart, can bear me witness. Amen. When she and I was engaged, we met when we was 14. That's right. When I met her. I already had the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. I already was baptized. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't raised in no church. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Not at all. But she was raised from a mother and father that had good old fashioned morals yes, and strictness. Yeah. Wonderful. 
When she got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I the one had the Holy Ghost. She didn't. I was in her way. And I talked to her and told her, listen, we're going to stop communicating. I ain't calling you, and don't you call me. I'm not coming to your house. Don't you come to mine. We are fast with you and pray with you. But the communication, we shutting down. Because if I truly loved her, and which I did and do, her having the Holy Ghost was more important to me than having me. Amen. It was more important. Amen. I was a stumbling block. Yes. I was in my early teens. Yes. Yeah. It's good teaching, man. Good example. It wasn't something my flesh wanted to do, yes. but I knew I needed to. Yes. It wasn't something that she wanted to do, yes. but she knew she needed to. Yes. And we did it. Yes. We, we did it. If, if I know I'm in your way, what am I just going to stand there for? That's right. Don't be a stumbling block to your brother or your sister. That's right. When I got out the way, later on she came through speaking in tongues. Let it go. Amen. I backed off. She came through speaking in tongues. Then I came back. Came back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Amen. Came back and got hitched. <laughs> now, some of us is trying to talk to sinners mm. with the mind already programmed. Yeah. I'm going to marry her or I'm going to marry him. Yes. So that means you are inviting them to church with the wrong agenda. That's right. Amen. You already got the wrong agenda in mind. Amen. That's right. Because your whole objective is to try to get them saved so you can marry them. So you can. Now the biggest mistake you can make is to tell, is to tell a sinner, I'm going to wait for you. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's right. God going to try what you say. Yes, he will. He'll do it. You're going to tell a sinner, I'll wait for you. And you have the Holy Ghost. He'll do it. That's right. And then all of a sudden, you start meeting other brothers and sisters who already have the Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Am I right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I don't think his own working on this, but <laughs> Holy Ghost certainly know what you need. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because a lot of you is in the predicament that God is dealing with now. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. You don't ever tell someone without the Holy Ghost, I'm gonna wait for you. No. Because no. now you may do what Isaac done. Right. It is written, God heard it. God heard it. Lord heard it. Isaac, after Ishmael bragged about his circumcision, yeah. Isaac come along bragging, well, if, if, if my father come along and present me as a sacrifice, right. I, I go along, I do it. I'll do it. It is written, the Lord heard it. The Lord heard it. Before you know it, God tells Abraham, offer up your son Isaac. It sounds good. To, it sounds good to God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Isaac should have just shut his mouth. Yeah. See, a lot of time it is your talk. That's right. That caused God to create a circumstance. Because you said, I will do this, I will do that, I will the other. God say, All right. I sound good to me. I'm going to create something in their life that's going to force them to live up to what they said in my eyes and in my ears. One year go by. They ain't got it yet. Two years go by. They ain't got it yet. Come on, preacher. Now, 
Three years go by, the clock start ticking, clock and because you becoming impatient, if you're not careful, you will start trying to convince her. Oh, you got it. I heard you speak, and she, all she did was stammer. That's right. That's right. But because you're impatient now, you trying to hurry up something that haven't came yet. Amen. Hmm. Go ahead, man. By thine words, you're justified. Yes. By thine words, thou shalt be condemned. That's right. If you're not born again yeah. of the water and of the spirit, yeah. like the word of God teaches, yeah. which is the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongue, yeah. not bow your head, not raise your hand, not join the church, not the hour of decision, not confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and you are saved. Right. None of that garbage. Yeah. None of that. Yeah. Yeah. Repenting of your sins, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, having the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. If you don't have that, you're not born again. Not born again. You don't have the new birth. Now here's someone that do have it. Why are you making marriage promises? That's right. That's right. Amen. How is it? Amen. Woman, have you got that emotionally di diluted? Yeah. And mentally unstable? Yeah. You going to tell a brother who don't even have God in him? I'll wait for you. Ask yourself, why are you going to wait? Why? Amen. You don't have to. That's true. Did you hear the, did you hear the advice back here? That's right. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> why are you waiting? Amen. That's true. God may make you wait till you're 70. Yes. Not only that, suppose they backslide. Come on, preacher. But yet, you threw the word out. I will wait. That's your word. So you ain't considered. Suppose they backslide. That's true. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Suppose something come from the word of God that offends Send them. them. So much they denounce the book. Yeah. Amen. And blaspheme God. But you didn't think of that. Amen. You lead to your emotions yeah. and told them, I will wait by thy words. Yeah. Yeah. You're justified. Yeah. You're justified. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. By thine words, shall yeah. be condemned. Thou shalt be condemned. Thy own word. Mm. Yeah. Thy own word. I ain't going to know. Amen. You older folk. Amen. That's older than the young brothers and sisters in their teens. Mm -hmm. We ain't playing church match make here. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Go ahead. Don't you go. To nobody in their teens and tell them, you know what? I think that young brother will make you a good husband. No. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Get a life. Amen. And leave theirs alone. Amen. That's right. This is not church matchmaking. Amen. That's right. Amen. You teach it, sir. That's right. Yeah. You mothers, don't you go to other parents' sons. And tell them, well, my daughter is interested in you. Come on. Don't you go to other daughters yeah. and tell them, well, my son is interested in you. Amen. You tell them, tarry for the Holy Ghost. That's right. Go ahead, man. You young girls that are in college. Don't you get caught up in no man. Amen. Get your education out the way. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. And let the man get out the way. Go ahead, Amen. preacher. You're telling the truth, preacher. Don't you quit school. That's right. To marry some man. That's, That's right. right, preacher. Get your education First. under your belt. First. Face the fact. That's right. Young people marriages of today are not lasting. That's right, preacher. Get your education under your belt, woman. Go ahead. That's true. Yeah. Work. Amen. Ain't no sin if you get a job. Amen. That's right. No Save sin. your money. Amen. It's no sin, no sin if you got a separate bank account from your husband. That's right. No sin. No if sin. you work, you can save your money. That's Amen. right. Not work and then bring him the check. That's right. And he give you allowance Amen. from your own money. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Preacher. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right is right. Am I right? Go ahead. Right is right. Your wife work? Set it in order. Why she got to give you her check? Go ahead. And you give her a measly $20. Go ahead. From her 
own money. Amen. You are right. Preach it, brother. You are right. Go ahead, man. You know you're right. Am I right, I said? Yeah. 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 These young men yeah. of today, yeah. they are backward. Yeah. And some of you young women is just as backward. You don't mind working and taking care of some man. What's the matter with you? A grown man laying around who's not sick. Ain't nothing wrong with him. He just don't want to work. And you agree to it as long as he drop you some pipe. Am I Go ahead, brother. Amen. Yeah, you breaking it down. As long as he drop you some pipe, Amen. you gonna lay around and take care of bum. His hands refuse to labor. I don't care who it offends. Go ahead, Go ahead, brother. If you a woman like that, you don't love yourself. Go ahead. Preach God's word. You will agree to take care of man who refused to work. His hands refused to labor. Hey, do you hear the Bible talking? In the, pro in the book of Proverbs 21 and at verse 25. Call chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 25. What the word said. The desire of the slowful. The desire of the lazy. Killeth him. Lazy. That's by the spirit. Amen. God said it. The desire of the slowful. The desire of the lazy. Killeth him. It kills him. For his hands. For his hands. Refuse to labor. Come on. I want to work. Wow. work. Come on. Listen, Jack, if I'm married and got kids yeah. and I'm not working. And if one of my brothers, say brother David Wade, has come to me and say, yo, Gino. Hey, look, man, I heard you ain't got a job. But look, my company's hiring, man. Mm -hmm. And. You, you, you have to be on your feet 20, 15 hours a day. Yeah. Go to work. I got kids. I'm going. Oh, yeah. And you mean to tell them, well, I, I don't do that. I, don't I, do that. I got <laughs> flat feet. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to take care of my kids, I'm going to get the right shoes, That's right. right support. That's right. That's right. If I got to come home bent oh, over, yeah. my kids got to eat. Go ahead. Now I know many men that are watching are sick of me working on this. <laughs> That's right. Which verifies you a bum. Amen. Verifies it. Go ahead. And I blame some women. Go ahead. Because you have spoiled these no good bums. That's right. Spoiled them. Spoiled you have them. took care of them like they were a baby. That's right. They That's refuse right. to work, refuse and you keep making excuses. You men who don't have a job, yeah. don't just sit at home on the internet and no. search. No. You go got out. to go the old time go way. Out. Go, out. go outside. Right. Knock on doors. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Go ahead. Are right, you listening? Yeah. All this is tied in tied with holiness. In. Yeah. That's right. Yes, it is. You're right. Because God said. The desire of the slowful. The desire. Yeah. Amen. The reason why we tell you young girls to leave boys alone, you in school. True. One of the worst things can happen to you is get pregnant. Yeah. Now you got to drop out of college. Okay. That's right. To take care of some bum's A child. Bum. Yeah. Amen. And the bum is not going to be there for the child he helped me. That's right. That's good teaching, brother. So now you got to work. Good teaching. And still try to study. Still try to study. And now it may be overwhelming. That's right. You got to get two and three jobs. Then you got to argue with some bum. That's right. That want to be respected as a man. Go ahead, brother. Tell the people. Tell the people, brother. It's good teaching. You see why they hate Pastor Jennings? Amen. I love to ruffle the feathers of the fallen angels. That's right. That's right. That's right. They are hell's angels. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. No man that comes to church 
that's married. That's mm -hmm. right. No woman should have to argue with him no. about taking care of his children. No. Never. We love that word. Right. Never. Love your word. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Amen. This is old fashioned holiness. That's right. Preach it, brother. That's good. Go ahead, brother. I say I agree. Ain't no need to speak in tongue. No you won't take care of your children. No need. Ain't no need to quote a half a scripture. That's right. You won't take care of your children. That's right. Work on it. Take your time. We worked on this in Baltimore. Yes. And Paul said to bring you the same thing is for your safety. That's right. Safe. Do you hear what it says? In 1 Timothy 5 and verse 8. 1 Timothy 5 and 8 says, But if any, if that got everybody. That's right. Any. Black, white, yellow, red, short, tall, fat, skinny, ugly, handsome. That's right. All of them. Speak tongue, no tongue. No tongue. But if any, if any, provide not for his own, provide not for his own, and especially for those, especially those of his own house. Look how God deal with it. He hath denied the faith. You, especially those of your own house. Own house. He have denied what? He hath denied the faith. I don't care what you do that pertains to the faith. God don't honor it. That's right. He don't honor you quoting scriptures. He don't honor you going to church. No. Yes. He don't honor you working in the church. That's right. Work on it, preacher. He don't honor you saying amen to the word. No. Because you know a lot of folks say amen to everything else. But when I get on this subject, that's right. That's true. Preacher. Preacher. That's right. Mom's the word. Mom's the word. That's right. I desire our young people, if they have a desire to be married, you want to have a sense of pride, if I've used that word, yeah. of what you married. That's right. If a young man ever one day have a mind to marry my daughters, mm -hmm. the law is he better not even propose mm -hmm. until he talked to me and my wife. That's right. He but not even suggest engagement. That's he right. but not even suggest it. That's right. And does he come talk to the parents? Yeah. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because I may see something in him yeah. that my emotionally diluted daughter may not see. That's right. <laughs> you know, because when someone is your first real love, a lot of things you may not see. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Got a dad for that. That's right. That's right. Very true. Amen. I want to say I'm. Oh, I'm glad he ain't my father. Good father. Good father. That's a good father, buddy. Yes. Oh yes. You know why? I want whatever young man my daughter bring home and marry. I want to. Why you think? Look at the title, son-in-law. Son-in-law. I want to be just as proud to have him as a son-in-law as I am to be proud of my own son. I don't want him to be a son-in-law entitled. I want to have just as much proud of the fact he's my son-in-law as I am my own son. I don't want her to marry in embarrassment. Some trifling, no good bum who don't even want to wash. Amen. He just wash on the Sabbath. Work on it, preacher. Need to marry someone who just want to have sex, have sex, come have on, sex. Come on, come on. Yeah. Go ahead, brothers. <laughs> My daughters are used to having a roof over their head. Yeah. They are used to eating. Yeah. They are used to having clothes on yeah. their back. Yeah. They don't have to settle for less. Yeah. That's right. You don't marry a man that's going to have you in the street. Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. 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 You women, love yourself. Yeah. And stop being so holy, you think you got to settle for less. They ain't holy, you's a fool. That's right, brother. You're telling the truth. Go ahead. You need this. 
need this. I don't beat my wife. No. My daughters better not marry a man that beat them. That's right. I don't push my wife. My daughters better not marry a man that pushed them. I don't cuss my wife out. My daughters better not marry a man that use one foul word to them. Go ahead. Because if they bring them to my door, I want them to know that's the best you can do. That's right. That's right. That's the best you can do. Amen. That's not even good recycled goods. Amen. Go ahead, brother. When he sit at my table, I want to have a sense of pride. That's right. And that pride got to be there before they say I do. When you are emotionally diluted, you say, well, uh, well, I don't love him, but if I marry him, I can learn to love him. See, that type of thinking calls me to stagger. That's right. <laughs> Suppose you never love, fall in love with him. That's another problem. A lot of you don't know the difference between loving and being in love. Because most people ain't never been in love. You ask most married people, do you love him? Yeah. Are you in love? They say, yeah. You know why? A lot of them don't know the difference between either. But when you get some good teaching and notice the separation between love and in love, in love. then it makes you like, oh, well, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't ever let no one come to you and say we're soul mates and yet they don't understand the meaning of a soul. That's right. How are you going to say you're a soul mate? Where your soul at? That's right. Do you even know what it is? That's right. Can you explain it? That's right. Can you define it? That's right. If a brother say to you, well, I think God gave you to me. And he keeps saying that. <laughs> brother, I advise you to ask that girl, do you think, you know, God gave me to you? Because she may not feel the same way. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if you don't feel that way, stop hesitating. Be around the bush. Just tell him, no. Amen. He claims he's a man. He can take it. He can take Amen. it. Same way with you, brother. Amen. That's true. Are well, you listen to the old troublemaker? Trouble. Troublemaker. This is Easter. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, this is one egg that got a nice, get a nice, some good stuff in it. Good protein. Go ahead. Go ahead. You young and inexperienced, don't become emotionally diluted and mentally incapacitated. Oh, yeah. Mature. That's right. Mm. And to do that, you must learn mature lessons through teaching. Through teaching. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Stay out of a young girl's way if she in college. That's right. That's right. Let her finish her education. Yes. Yeah. Encourage her to go on with God and education. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't sneak and go behind your parents' back and get his number. That's right. Now you're acting like a trifling hoe. Amen. Especially if the brother's in the same church you're in. Amen. He hear what the word is preaching, Amen. and yet you're going behind your leader and the disrespecting him behind his back. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. And if brother, you agree to it, you know you ain't good for marrying. Because right. you're not even honoring leadership. That's right. Go ahead. If you're not honoring it before you get married, you ain't gonna honor it after you get married. That's right. Go ahead. Gotta honor leadership. Go ahead. Go against leadership. Go ahead. If my sister hear this teaching and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and she go to a brother that don't have it, look, we we got to stop. I mean, you need the Holy Ghost. That's right. How you gonna tell them on Monday? Morning, we, we got to cut it off. And then by Monday night, you in the bed with them wrestling. Come on! Get some stability about you. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know most of you have never sat in church this long. 
but this is good to the last drop. The last drop. Amen. Young brothers, get your education out the way. Out the way. Pursue God first. Amen. Get your education out the way. Amen. Worry about girls later. Amen. Yeah. I tell my sons, I ain't ready to be no granddaddy. Amen. And I ain't going to be no granddaddy and nobody married. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Young girls, don't be fast. Amen. That's right. Yeah. And don't have a ghetto mentality. Go ahead. Loud and wild and crazy. Amen. All out in the street and they can hear you round a corner. Come on. That's right. Yeah, come on. You young men want to marry someone, you want them first to fear God. God. Don't settle for what you don't want. No. And don't start bringing a bunch of girls to the house and a bunch of boys to the house for your parents to meet. Yeah. You don't want to look like a slut or a male hoe. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. You want to bring Bill to the house, that relationship don't work. You bring Jeff to the house, that relationship don't work. You bring Barney, hello everybody, that don't work. <laughs> One after the other. One after the other. <laughs> so when you do it right, tell your children, don't you bring nobody Amen. to this house. Go ahead. Amen. Get God first, get your education, and then later we'll talk. Later. 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 We'll talk later. Because a brother is interested in you, have some maturity about you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Be respectful. Amen. That's right. I can respect the brother who, if he got interest in my daughter and come talk to me, I can respect. Oh, yeah. I re he's showing me respect. Oh, yeah. Amen. Pastor Jenna, you know, I got interest in blah, 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 blah. All right. Because right off the back, he's going to tell me, I already know what you teach. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because that's what I'm waiting to hear. <laughs> huh? My ears become like lips. Ahead, now if he already know what I teach uh -oh. and then he respect what I teach uh -oh. fine young man Amen. but if he gonna tell me I know what you teach mm -hmm. just to butter me up I'm one piece of bread who can know, don't need butter, don't need butter. Uh -huh. butter don't work with me no, it don't. because as a father it is my job Your to job. protect my sons and daughters right. even if I got to disagree with them as long as it protects them that's right, Amen. That's, right. that's why I will not tolerate church matchmaking from adults go ahead. in church don't you go push your daughters off on these young brothers and don't you go push your sons off on these young girls go ahead man go ahead go ahead Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Go ahead, brother. Don't let nobody push their children on yours. That's right. That's wrong. Don't be sending emails, young folk, and text messages. That's wrong. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. There was a young sister. I had an email retrieved, and she put an email out about my son Cameron. I call him Reds. And she laid claim on him. Oh. Don't you know the public see your emails? You embarrass the church. That's right. That's right. And I tell my sons, you better be sending emails out to no sister that I can't read. Amen. That's right. Your conversation better be seasoned with salt and right. Amen. If you can't get off the computer, Amen. that goes for all men and all women. Amen. 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 You represent the church, even on church Facebook. Amen. Yes. I ain't nothing should be on there but that which is decent and in order. Amen. In order. If anything else on there, get that trash off there. That's right. Amen. That's right. Wonderful. 
Use it lawfully. You, use it right. Amen. you don't use Facebook to propose to somebody. No. Then get your face out the book. That's right. Yes. Facing the wrong book. Facing the wrong book. Amen. As a young woman, there's a difference between a young woman and a young lady. That's right. Big difference. Big difference. You grow up and become a woman just by age and maturity and from the physical perspective. But that don't mean you're a lady. When you're a lady, you're not forward. You're not flirtatious. You're not so quick. When you see a brother that you like, you're like a superhero. No! No! Your clothes just still blowing. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead. Raise your children up according to the faith. Yeah. According yeah. to the faith. No parent mm -hmm. should be proud about the fact your children or child have a babies or babies and they ain't married. Yeah. And you children need to understand Amen. the burden Amen. you put on your parents. Amen, Amen. Amen. preacher. Amen. 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 Work on it, preacher. Amen. Work on it. And when your parents tell you that, well, they old-fashioned. They don't understand. They do understand. They That's right. why they try to tell you to keep your drawers on That's and right. your bra yeah. snap. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You the one that's green. You the one that don't understand. You the one that don't even understand your own body. That's right. We preach that. Here's the parents that don't know. Some of the parents know because many of them have made that mistake. Yeah. And they are students, they know. That's right. And a wise parent don't want their children to go down the same path to commit the same crime. Amen. Yeah, that's right. They learn. Let us get it in your mind. Oh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. That's right. Preacher. That's right. That's right, preacher. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. Stop thinking that something is wrong because you don't have sex. Stop thinking that. Go ahead. Amen. That's, sir. That's old school learning. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's sir. It ain't nothing wrong Amen. with being a virgin. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah, Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Ain't nothing proud about having a whole list of men on, behind your name and a Come list on. of women. That's you got right. enough stickers on you like a Mack truck that went through the country. Yeah. Mississippi, Alabama, North Dakota, South Dakota, California, Petersburg, Florida, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Maine, Boston, slow Connecticut. Yeah, slow down, slow down. Like you an evangelist. That's right. Where's the pride? Where's the pride? Yeah. Yeah. Slow your road. Amen. Why are you not ashamed Amen. to be 15 year old and pregnant? Come on. That's right. Why you ain't ashamed? Hello. Amen. Amen. What are you doing giving? A baby shower. Come on, preacher. And the baby was born out of fornication. Amen. Come on, preacher. Go ahead. Work on it, preacher. Yes. Go ahead. No. no. Same yes, Same Church rule. don't give baby showers no. to have fornication. No Same way. Rule. No. no. We got the same rule, preacher. Paul said, should I praise you in this? Praise you Paul not. said, I praise you not. Praise you not. Same We walk by that same route. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. You Amen. pregnant? You not married? Sit down. Right. Yeah. Don't get on no choir. Right. Don't usher. Don't testify. Don't do nothing. Amen. Sit down. That's yeah. right. Amen. Good words. Have some shame. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's not going to look down on you, but have some shame. Amen. Holiness. That's right. Yeah. I'm not going to praise you, but have some shame. Yeah, that's right, preacher. That's right. That's right. Young men just can't yeah. keep going around making babies like you with the Salvation Army. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Go ahead. 
Go ahead, preacher. Amen. Glory, glory. So you young man can't go around having babies Amen. like you with the Salvation Army. Amen. These modern day fathers are becoming younger and younger. Yeah. Thirteen. Don't know nothing about it. Fourteen. Fifteen. Amen. What a fourteen-year-old boy know about being a father? All he knows that sex feel good. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Responsibility. Don't even know what responsibility is. No. Can't even buy toilet paper for his own self. How can he buy a pack of diapers for a child he can't take care of? Amen. You parents that are watching, many of you are the blame. Not all, many of you. That's God's word. You yeah. let your child yeah. boyfriend spend the night yeah. under your roof. That's right. You let your child boyfriend. That's right. What a 13 year old doing with a boyfriend? Amen. Send that little bum home back to his own parents. Amen. Go ahead, man. I just want to sit in my house no. and waste my electricity, no. swing on my porch no. chair, walk on my lawn, no. be gone. That's right. That's right, preacher. Don't even ring my doorbell. If you don't respect yourself when you young, you will never be able to demand respect when you get older. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Yes. Ain't no boy gonna respect you and you acting like what old folk used to call a floozy. Come on, y'all. That's right. All loose and over the place. Come on. It's sad to have a rep in school yeah. as being the high school hoe. Yes. The middle school hoe. That's Come right. Yeah. Talk wrong. What is that to be proud of? Yeah. Brother, what is that to be proud of? You ain't married and you knocking up every girl you can find making baby after baby. You got the nature of a beast. Yes. Amen. Yes. Many of you watching, you upset now <laughs> because you know you a dog. Go ahead. A baby down the street, a baby up the street, a baby across the street, a baby around the corner, a baby a few blocks up, a baby in the back of the house, a baby in the side of the house, baby, 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 just baby after baby. That's right. Yeah. One man. One man. With about 17 different women pregnant. Yeah. Come on. My Lord. And you are proud to be in the number? I'm glad to be in the number no. one more time. No, no. No. I preach this hard because it's a young generation coming up behind us. Yeah. Good hard. And they have to learn to control their seed. That's it. Go ahead, preacher. Control. Don't spill it until you marry. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead, That's right. brother. That's right. That's right. It's good teaching, brother. Celebrate marriage. Well, you listen to the old man. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I can't sit under that man preaching. He's too strict. Come on. I, I'm used to being out there. Taste I got the to word. be free. That, that kind of teaching keep me in bondage. in bondage. That kind of teaching keep you from being a hoe. That's right. That's right, preacher. That's right. That's right, preacher. We preach the same thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brother, stop trying to talk to every sister in church. Go ahead. In one year, you done talked to seven different sisters. Yes, yes, yes. One year. And proposed to ten. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, in today's society, many of you may not like what I'm saying. It's the truth. 
yeah. but it's true. In today's society, young people' marriage are not lasting because most people don't know what they're getting into. Right. Most young people, when they got married, they didn't get married knowing what they was doing. They didn't have no counsel. They didn't have no advice. So in their mind, they was ready until they started being receiving in of knowledge. Come on. That's right. Come on. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Everything is not marriage material. No. Just like all fabric is not made for dresses and Go curtains. That's right. Go ahead. You don't get suit fabric to make a bedspread. No. <laughs> you don't get curtain fabric no. to make a dress. No. Am <laughs> I hanging you up in your dining room? Yeah. Be able to understand fabric. That's good teaching. Understand. What the person consists of. Right. And to do that, that takes time. You gotta look past shouting and shaking. Yes. And the reason why time is important, because that shaking may not be the Holy Ghost. That's right. But if you give yourself time, you'll see past it. That's right. I'm telling you, as your leader, you know how many men came in first church jumping and shouting, get to smuggle you out. Yes. Yes. Came in church, just move. Hey, glory. Come on. Come on, preacher. Shaka, 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 shaka. Yes. Speaking in tongue, calling shaka, come. Shaka, 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 shaka. Yes. shaka. Yes. You know how many sisters came in church? Jumping and shouting? Yes. And when a brother found out she ain't married, right on him. Come on, yeah. Right on. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Look past the tongue. Come yeah. on. Look past the movie. Yeah. 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 They can have Tourette's. Yeah. <laughs> Look past it. Before you make a declaration of love, Come on. that's right. You better understand it. And it's more than having a warm feeling in your gut. That's right. Most gutly warmth can be cured by Pepto Bismol. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. A laxative yes. can remove the warmth, yes. cool you off. Yes. Cool you off. Now, I know many don't like this. Yeah. And you know by now it doesn't yeah. matter to no, me if you don't. No, no. Look at the young people of America. These young girls becoming pregnant younger and younger. Yes. That's right. And who's left holding the bag? Come on, preacher. Their mother. That's right. If you are a grandmother, you should be able to enjoy being a grandmother, yeah. not be forced to yeah. be a grandmother. Yeah. Who do you find in the clinics today with the children? The grandmother. Who do you find dragging the children back and forth to school? The grandmother. His grandma did already raised her children. Now she got to raise her own children's children. Amen. While the young girl out partying. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. Woogie, woogie. Grandma all tired. Grandma and pushed a stroller and got one in the arm. That's right. Yeah. While the daughter's out getting knocked up all over again. Right. You're working on dirt. Right. Work on it. Work on it. Go ahead, brother. And you got the audacity to get upset with me. Amen. Amen. Yeah, they'll get mad with you. Stay mad. Yeah, they'll get mad at you. Go ahead, man. Younger and younger, yes. more and more pregnant. That's right. And now the girl's mother got to leave work. Yeah. Her job and life is interrupted. Her home life. Grandma should be able by now to enjoy herself. That's right. Relax. Go ahead, man. She done already raised hers. Now got to be forced all over again to raise all her grands. And many of the young folk don't care. You already call 
making a date with another man who's not even the father of your child. You didn't even ask your mother to watch it. You automatically done committed her by telling him, oh yeah, I'll be there. That's right. As if your mama ain't got nothing to do. Go ahead, bro. Being a grandmother should be a privilege, not a burden. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. You know I'm telling the truth. Many of you looking at me frowning because you don't like it. Yes. But it's God's word. God's word. And if you don't love God's word, then you are a hater of God. Amen. You young girls, yes. keep your virginity. That's it. No babies That's right. until you marry. That's right. You young boys, keep your virginity. Yes. Don't go making no babies till you get married. That's right. That's right. That's right. Good teacher. Keep it that way. Yes. Yeah. Are you listening? Yes. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin. Right. Virgin is not a bad word. No. Stop thinking it is. No. You don't have to prove nothing to your no. friends no. by having sex. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Take your time. Don't let no girl tell you, well, you know, you, you know, I'm into you, you know, I'm into you, and, uh, you know, I, I give you some, you know. <laughs> give you, give you a, a peek. <laughs> and you sitting there? That's right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see, I didn't see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Show me again, show me again. You ain't never saw it before, you know. You ain't, you ain't never saw it before. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Come on, preacher. He done bugged him out now. Bugged him out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's gone. How many others did she show her breasts to? That's right. That's right. That's right. You 13, 14, and 15 doing this? Yeah. Already? Already. You 13, 14, and 15, and you already showing your breast to folk? That happens. Every parent in the world yes. need to have themselves and their children yeah. under the teaching of holiness. Oh. Yeah. Finish up Timothy real quick and we'll be out your way. Still in 1 Timothy 5 and verse 8. Who give me the correct time, brothers? Give me the time quickly, please. What is it, 3.30? Thank you. Come on, read quick. But if any provide not for his own, if especially for those not for of his, his own, own house. Especially of his own house. He hath denied the faith. You and don't it, have the right to ask that woman or children to respect you. No. Yeah, Because yeah. God don't respect you. That's right. God said you denied him. He hath denied the faith. Well, you deny the faith, you deny God, and how do God feel about you? And is worse than an infidel. You're worse. He look at you as being worse. Worse. Than an unbeliever. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You men that are watching around the world. Yeah. You should have enough self-respect. Where the woman should not have to take you to court <laughs> to force you to take care of what's yours. Yeah. I'm not talking to you that are taking care of your children and the woman just want to drain you out your money. I ain't talking about that. That's right. I'm yeah. talking about you men that ain't giving a dime yeah, at no time. Yeah, no time. <laughs> That's right. Getting all free. Not a dime. Listen, if I'm working, 
I got to give some money to take care of them children. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's, right. that's, that's right. right. Like we preach in Baltimore. If I owe Williams $50, Williams gotta oh, yeah. got to wait. I got to take care of my children that's first. Right. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. That's right. If I owe Brother David $40, he's going to have to wait. Oh, yeah. If I owe Taj 100 he got to wait. Now, some of you ignorant men that are watching me, you left your wife and children to take care of another woman's children and her. You are dumb, ignorant, hell deserving fools. That's right. You women that are watching me, if a man won't take care of his, please, what make you think? He gonna take care of yours. And if you see he won't take care of his, and he offered to take care of yours, don't accept the offer. Don't belittle yourself. If he will walk away from his, send him back to his. That's right. That's right. Keep your dignity by not accepting his offer. That's right. God, every man on the earth ought to say amen to this. You won't take care of your children yeah, while you're asking your wife for sex. Yes, sir. Right, 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 right. Yes, sir. No sex, write checks. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do. No sex, you should write checks. Write checks. Excellent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. No, no. Amen. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Yeah. Go ahead. Glory to God. We have hundreds of men around the world, thousands in some areas. You're not the only one here in this teaching. That's right. We were working on some of this Friday night. And I know some got upset. But it was a gang of folk up here. Who came to meet me after service? A lot of them was men. You know what some of those men said to me? Thank you. Yes. Word of God. Yes. Word of God. Yes. Word of God. Yes. Friday night of this week, yes. many men that was up here said thank you. I'm I'm gonna get myself together. Yes. There was what some mentioned to me. Two mentioned to me and said, you know what? I thought I was a man until I heard you. He said, before I heard you, I realized I wasn't no man. I didn't even understand what it was. See, a lot of us think a man is based upon your anatomy or the size of your hands. If you get my drift. Size of your hands or the size of your feet. Right, right, right. But even that tell a lie. Go ahead, brother. That ain't always true. Are you listening to the old man? I want to make it so real, so it real. pierced your soul. Go ahead. Men talk to me. Thank you. I appreciate your teaching. It made me want to take care of my family. Amen. Had men write me. I. I wasn't taking care of my family until I heard you. Amen. Yeah. That's good, man. I'm the and some of these are sinners. Amen. Sinners are saying thank you. And then you got some folks speaking in tongue, buck dancing. <laughs> That's buck dancing. Don't want to hear it. Well, every time I come to church, you got to keep working on this, you know, taking care of children and all that stuff. I don't need no man tell me what to do. Oh, yes, you do. God said, how can you hear without a preacher? The moment you, the moment you said, I don't need no man to tell me what to do, you lied on God. That's a lie. That's right. The moment you say it. That's right. The moment you say that, you lied. I don't God. That's right. Because yeah. God said, How, How can you hear without, without a preacher? Without a preacher. How can he preach? Except he be sent. 
You just notice many subjects we deal with, many men say amen. Yeah. But when we deal with this, amen. it's the tight yeah. lip syndrome. Yeah. Go ahead, man. You make men. That's right, sir. Don't you know God sent me to make men? Yeah. That's right. Thank you. We want men to come out of here. Go ahead, brother. Not baby makers. No. Men. God-fearing, respectable, yeah. intelligent, yeah. humble, yeah. real, yeah. disciplined, yeah. honorary yeah. men. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. So, go ahead, brother. That's what a real woman wants. Yeah. Should be. But believe it or not, in today's society, you asking for too much. Yeah. Amen. And you know that's pitiful. Yeah. That's pitiful. Yeah. In today's society, Amen. you asking for too much. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Our children that are in the teens, what's out here for them to marry? That much. Yeah. What is out here for them to marry? Come on, preacher. Preacher. Boy, you working on it, preacher. You got children in your teens and in your twenties. It's fearful. That's right. yeah. What is out here for them to marry? Somebody who ain't gonna smack them around. Come on, yeah. That's right. That's the truth. Who ain't gonna use them? That's the truth. And abuse them. That's the truth. Amen. Take advantage of them. That's the truth. Very few. Yeah. Few, few, few. Anybody here who don't believe this preaching, I believe. you don't need to be here. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. That's a problem. Preacher! Huh? Preacher! Amen. That's a problem. We got young men. Yes, sir. Ryan, come here, son. Yes. How old are you, son? Ten. Ten. Come here. In ten years, he's going to be 20. Yeah. Fifteen years. He's going to be 25. Mm -hmm. 20 years, he's going to be 30. Amen. Well, this teaching got to start molding his mind now. That's right. Amen. That way he know what to expect when a woman or a girl try to be forward yes. with him. He know how to say, oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, sister. You know, you're being very disrespectful. Yeah. Besides showing his teeth and going along with it. That's right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This teaching protects him. Yeah. This teaching protects your sons. Yeah. Amen. It protects your daughters. Yeah. Amen. Now who will be upset with me yeah. but a bum? That's yeah. right. That's up. That's but a bum. Go ahead, brother. I'm protecting your children. I'm protecting your sons. I'm protecting your daughters. Because your sons and your daughters, they are my children. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Good teaching, brother. It is my job as a watchman to tell your children everything. Hallelujah! Yeah. Everything! Yeah. The angel delivered the apostles out of prison and told them, go in the temple and tell the people all the words of this life. It is too many single young women that is working, tired, exhausted, trying to raise children on their own. Go ahead. Right. Why he just want to ride a car? Come on, preacher. Go ahead, work on it. You right? Slouch down on the car Slouch and want to get laid. That's right. Amen, preacher. Preacher, preacher, you Next working on it? Preacher. Go ahead, man. See, the only ones that protest this is them that are guilty. That's right, preacher. Working on my family. Yeah, yeah. And you will find brothers right around the church. Not many, but a few. I don't agree with that. Yeah. I, I don't agree with that. Only bums don't agree with it. That's right. Think of it. A man disagree with taking care of his kids. Of his own. A man. Of his own. 
and you got the nerve to want respect from a woman not even God respect you that's right deny the faith worse than an infidel woman shouldn't have to keep arguing with you you need to, listen when are you gonna take care of your kids that's right that's right do it now yeah that's right when a woman ain't have to argue with you to lay down with her that's right she didn't have to argue with you to plow the land If you don't want to take care of no babies, keep your drawers on. Amen. Amen. That's good hardcore teaching. That's right. Good teaching. 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 That's right. Yeah. Lord, yeah. it's good. Go ahead, brother. It's good. Oh, this is a good telecast. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See? I know some of you may have thought I forgot I was over the air. I didn't. We're dealing with everyday life. I traveled the world. I talked to thousands and thousands of people. I deal with the same thing in every state and in every country I go in. Women pregnant and are abandoned. Amen. Raising two, three, four children. Come on, preacher. Yes. No help. No help. No help. No help. No help. No help. Uh, it. No help. Man think he's doing something because he give her five dollars. Come on, preacher. After six months go by. Come on, That's right. Right. That's right. Then he said, I, I gave you something. So five dollars. What is that? Five dollars. You spend more than that at McDonald's. Your children ain't worth more than that. Amen. Before I eat, I'm talking about a real man. A real man is like this. Before I eat, I'm making sure my children eat. That's right. That's what after where a real man is. Amen. Amen. Are you are you listening at the old man? Go ahead, brother. This type of teaching exists before all of us was born. But as you notice, I get a larger response out of some older men. Yeah. You know, that may be in their 30s and 40s and 50s. They be like, that's right. Yeah. Why well, they used to hearing that. But a lot of the young and dumb, they're like, mm -hmm. I take care of no baby. I ain't, ain't taking care of no baby. <laughs> If you get married, you want to be honored about what you marry. Be proud to say, I'm, I'm his wife. Be proud to say, I'm her husband. Yeah. You're walking down the street with a sister, and she's walking like a lady, and you're right next to her. Well, you know. Come on, man. Like, like you're the hunchback of Notre Dame. Where's the pride, man? The pride. Amen. At your pants hanging down with your drawers showing. Go ahead. What's the matter with you? Amen. What man? Go ahead, bro. Wanna show his behind in public? Amen. You ain't gay, so you say. Then why you want other men to see your drawers? That's right. Do you want other men to look at your behind? Go ahead. You ain't gay. Go ahead. So you say. <laughs> why do you want other men to see your draws? A real man don't want to show his behind to other men. That's right. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. You're right. yeah. You men that are married, you men that got in mind to get married. If you can't even take care of yourself, amen, amen. don't even talk about marriage. That's right. I remember one of my young brothers came to me out of Newport News. He said, Pops, I want to get married. He said, but hey, I can't even take care of myself yet, man. So there's no need for me to go try to go out there and marry. 
I said, boy, you listening, ain't you? He said, yeah, pops, I ain't crazy. <laughs> That's wise. That's all right. That's a wise man, yeah. That's all right. Church is not about matchmaking. That's right. Not designed for that. A woman that's a real a woman wants something respectable. Amen. You don't want to marry something that's an embarrassment. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Are you listening? Yes. You have a child or children. Take care of them. Amen. Amen. Don't need to make a baby you can't take care of. That's common sense. Common sense. Yeah. That's right, preacher. That's right. Not just take care of them by giving them counsel, giving them advice. No, you got to put food on that table. Clothes on the back. Bills got to be paid. That's right. That's the truth of it. The Lord said if a man provide him not. But if any provide not for his own. Not for his own. And especially and for we're gonna close with this. Of his own house. Especially. Those of his own house. Now you can talk about this on the way home that you don't believe it. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> That's right. And I know some of you would say, well, you know what? I know he's talking about me. No, you know I'm talking about you. That's right. <laughs> so only a guilt only a guilty man say gonna that. say that. Amen. That's only a guilty man gonna say that. That's right. That's right. That's all. Out of the abundance of the heart, what happened? Now speak it. You preach it, sir. Yeah. It happens to us. You men that minister, hammer on this. Hammer on it. Hammer on it. That's right. Talking about the love of Jesus is good, but you better hammer on the structure of the home. That's good teaching, brother. We will, brother. Go ahead, preach. We will. There's too many women left carrying a bag all by themselves all across America. Oh, yeah. It's an epidemic. There's no sense of shame. Some men can bear witness because many of them were raised by their mother. Because their father walked out on them. That's right. That's right. But if your father wasn't there, you can't use it as an excuse. Because if you got common sense because your father wasn't there, you should want your children not to go through the same thing. Learn from it. I've heard behind the shadows uh, the reason why Pastor Jennings can preach that because he had a father there for him. No, the reason why I can preach that because it's God's word. That's right. And it don't take away the fact, yes, I'm glad and I'm thankful that I had a real thoroughbred pop. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. Amen. Every man didn't have a father. Every man didn't. But many had a good, strong mother. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And a good, strong mother, she going to instill in you the same thing I'm teaching. That's right. The same thing. Yeah. Old folk call it mother wit. Yeah. Values. Yeah. That's right. 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 You brothers right. in the church, if you ain't taking care of your children, don't you function in the church at all. No. Amen. No. You are an embarrassment. Get yeah. That's right. Don't function no. in nothing. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Sit yourself down. Yeah, go ahead, preacher. <laughs> That's the truth of it. Yeah. If you can buy McDonald's for yourself, you can put some money in the hands of your wife. That's right. If you can buy Burger King for yourself, you can pay some bills. That's right. That's right. That's true. That's true. Am I right? Yeah. Oh, come on, you can talk better than that. If you can buy yourself a shirt, pants, drawers, t-shirt, you're going to put some food on that plate. That's right. A real man will neglect himself because he loves his children. Amen. 
Go ahead, brother. You can't speak in tongue over it? No, you can't. You can't shake one leg like you Elvis? You can't scream like a James Brown? No. This scripture is too high to jump over, too wide to get around. That's right. You get around. It's God's law. You brothers in the churches, preach it. Enforce it. That's right. It's the order of God. Amen. You can't hide under the name Jesus. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And Jesus said you're worse. Worse than an infidel. Worse. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Now, we thank God for this youth conference. We're glad for all of you that took the time out to come. Look on your schedules. You'll notice there's different upcoming events through the month of April. Some branch church anniversaries. I believe Fredericksburg is one, if I'm not mistaken. And I think Rocky Mount may be another, but look on your schedule uh, to be sure. The International Holy Convocation is coming up in July. It will take place in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're looking for everybody. Amen. This is our international meeting where the brothers be flying in from other foreign countries and we're looking to take Harrisburg, which is the capital of Pennsylvania, by storm. Yes. We thank you for your time. Yes, sir. To you that are upset, I thank God for you too. Amen. Amen. You just got to do better, that's all. That's all right. Men that are upset with me about this preaching, talking about me behind my back won't help. Trying to get other brothers to agree with you don't help. Any brother agree with another brother because he don't want to take care of his family, then that's two bums on board. That's right. Because a man that's a real man ain't agreeing with it. When a brother try to pull you to the side and try to get a scripture, uh-uh. Uh -oh. The word has spoken. He is worse. You brothers that minister, you better force this message and preach it. And the churches. If men get up and walk out and don't hold no meeting with no man who want to argue with you about taking care of his family. It ain't no meeting. Do it or go to hell. That's it. That's it. We're not going to have no bombs That's it. using First Church yes. as a haven. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, man. We're going to pull the bums off the train. Go ahead. Hiding in the baggage department. Hiding in the cattle car. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Are you listening? Go ahead, brother. Take care of your children. Glory, glory. There should be no sister in the body of Christ talking to me or no other minister in a branch temple because their husband won't take care of their children. I stand firm on this and if I lose a member because of it, I'm fine with it. Wherever you go, this scripture is going to follow you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yeah. You women, yeah. don't you let your husband tell you, I can't give you no, and he working? That's right. Let the courts decide Amen. what he can give. That's right. Don't yeah. keep talking about, I'm going to take no, you to court, no, I'm going to take you to no. court. Talk is cheap. Right. Take money to buy land. Go That's ahead, right. That's right. As a parent, you got you to gotta protect your children. Amen. Oh, yeah. Preach that. You either protect your children yeah. or you stand by and let them starve. Yeah. Yeah. If you let them, yeah. get the court on them. Do it. The Bible says right. the law the is made the for the lawless. Yeah. Right. Let the law tell you how much he can or cannot pay. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 
And if he still refuse, he goes to jail. And no brother in church will bail him out. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm going to make it hot for all bums in America. Especially those that claim they're born again. Because to be a born again bum is an insult. Yes, it is. You know why? You're being taught. That's right. You know better. Yes, sir. Amen. That's right. Soak it. Someone said, man, somebody must got under his skin. No. I feel fine. You're good. I'm just yeah. preaching the word. Amen. Hmm? That's right. You can see me over there. And you can see me over there. Yes. And if you want to see me on all three, you can close your eyes. I want to protect all women, whether you in, whether you are sinner or not. That's, that's right. Whether you are sinner or whether you're not a sinner. It is my job with the scriptures to set things in order, not the way Pastor Jennings think it should be, but what God says. You women, stop settling for less and allowing yourself to be a mattress just bounced upon. And that man ain't going to take care of your kid. He give you a bunch of stupid promises. Yeah, man. Yeah. And because he giving you a good night of three-minute loving. Yeah. Now you stop complaining. Uh-uh. You be a real woman and stand on your feet. Get a board in your back. That's right. It's time for you to take his fruity balloons to court. That's right. That's right. You won't take care of your children. Right. You ain't got no business having a new jacket. That's right. You won't take care of your children. You ain't got no business with a new pair of shoes, a new suit, a new coat, a new hat. You know why? You claiming you ain't got it. You liar. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. You women, stop tolerating it. Amen. You men that want to be real men, Amen. follow what we preach. Follow, yeah. Amen. follow it. Amen. Repent of your sins. Yes. Be baptized in water. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Learn the way of holiness, yes. which is tough, rough, yes. Holy Ghost boot camp. Yes. That's right. We preach that. It's harder than what your father ever will tell you. That's right. Oh, and it's broader than what your mama can ever teach you. Oh, yes. It is the intelligence of God.